theatricality and deception. Microsoft shitstorm of bad news continues. And I'm going to report this because it needs to be known and things need to be, you know, shown to light. The truth about this company needs to, you know, drop on some of these Xbox heads like an anvil and have some common sense knocked into them. Because what they're supporting is idiotic and not good for the gaming. You're paying Machinima and other YouTubers to say good things about the Xbox One and its games without letting the community, the consumers, the gamers know that they were compensated to say these things to know that maybe I shouldn't take it everything they say and take it with a grain of salt because they are getting paid to say these things that are good about the Xbox One and their games. I'm not writing these articles. I'm not making it up. These are the facts that I'm presenting to you right here. I have nothing to hide or nothing to lie to you about. I just want to bring awareness to this shit because Xbox are delusional. Delusional idiots that support bad business practices, that support shit that's not good for gaming. This is not good to lie to your consumers about the product when everybody knows that it's weak, inferior compared to the PS4. There is no deception here. This is reality. I'm showing you the articles. You can't get paid to say good things about the Xbox and not allow the consumer to know that so they can make a better judgment call if they want to buy your product. It's kind of like false advertisement. But this is why I don't support them. This is why I won't buy an Xbox when I won't put money into Microsoft's pocket because of these bad business practices, horrible tactics. Let the console sell itself like the PS4. Sony said they, they couldn't imagine the PS4 selling this much, this fast, faster than the PS2 right? They were pleasantly surprised. They're going to come in the comment section, uh, typical Sony fanboy. I like what's good for gaming. Microsoft started 2013 with restrictions. Can't bring your games over. I don't care if they took that back, but the only reason they took that back because as we, the gamers, stand up, for ourselves, for what's good for gaming. These motherfuckers was trying to destroy it with these type of bullshit, you know, business practices, these, you know, requirements for this and that, instead of just letting us game the way we've been gaming for decades. It's not good for, uh, for gaming. It is not good at all. But you have idiots, morons, delusional fucktards that will applaud this. That will say this is good. That will defend it without any facts, without any proven evidence of why this is good. That will act like infantile, stupid idiots that think like an adolescent. He says Remedy says they're going to, Remedy said it's going to run at 1080p, right? That was back in 2015 when they said it was going to run at 1080p. But the key word is Quantum Break 2 run at 1080p, not it will run at 1080p, to run at 1080p. So they were still in the process of trying to see if they could get this game to run at 1080p. Remedy said they're going to, you know, it will be at 1080p. But guess what? The game didn't come in 1080p. And Xbox Logic will jump all over Uncharted for multiplayer. Multiplayer that's 900p60. But they completely ignore what people are buying Uncharted for. It's the story mode, which is 1080p, 30 frames per second. Native 1080p. You can't have one half of the truth 
and then try to separate it because you want to validate your argument. I asked this pathetic, idiotic, retarded, infantile over and over again, where is your proof that Microsoft, I mean that, not Microsoft, that Remedy is lying about the tech analysis that they did on Quantum Break? And like a typical idiotic retarded expat, he changes the subject and throws insults, tries to be a comedian, fails miserably. Trolling is just, you know, from a scale of 1 to 10, minus 300. You can't even make me laugh when you troll. But I just kept asking him, where's the proof? You're making these accusations that, uh, you know, they didn't come up with the facts. Where is it? Can't go into the court of law and just tell the judge to take your word or mouth. You have to present substantial evidence. Please share these links. And if they're going to dislike the video, they hate the truth. If they like the video, they're going to accept the truth. PlayStation.